Hi there, I wanted to make a quick short video on how you guys can use the different reverbs available in Amplitude. The most obvious way is to use the reverb with the amplifier. Uh, we've got a Fender Twin reverb here. Sounds fine, there's your spring. For the amps that don't have reverb, you can go to the post effects section and just use the reverb pedal. Now this is quite a decent sounding reverb, but you'll find that because this is the only reverb pedal within Amplitude, you'll get bored of the sound quite quickly, and you may want to try out different reverbs for different amps. Okay, so what you want to do is go to the uh, tape recorder icon at the bottom right of the screen, and this will bring up the mixing window. And under the first main section are options of pan and volume, which are pretty self-explanatory. So if you roll the panel to the right, that'll take you to the effects send option. So you want to turn the send one up. We're going to use this as our reverb channel. And then if you roll right again, past the EQ section, and then you'll see the post effects processing. Now at the top left here, you can see send one. You have an input and an output, which is the volume going into the post effects section. And you can see here, we've got options between room, hall, and plate. And as you cycle through them, they have different starting functions. So let's just look at the room section first. You should hopefully be able to hear a little bit of verb on there as well. Now the adjust section is the reverb trail, i.e. the decay. So if we turn that up, you should hear a longer room decay. some of the other options. Number two is the hall. This is pretty cavernous, but it sounds really fun. And we're just going to pop the output verb up a little bit here. Turn the mix up, you should hear that more clearly. It's quite a nice sounding reverb. The next option is the plate reverb. So we're just going to make sure that our output's just over halfway, so you get a little bit of preamp crunch from the uh, reverb unit too. So we're going to adjust the trails up a little bit and turn the mix up a little bit, and you should have a really good usable plate reverb. <laughs> So that's a quick overview on how to use the effects section. You'll see also that there's an effect send to. Now you can set up a second reverb here to overlap the first one if you want. But before you do that, you have to go back to the effects send and make sure that the send volume is up. So if we turn up send to, and then go back to our reverb panel and enable it as a reverb, you'll see that that's pretty intense because we've got two plate reverbs talking over each other. Which is really good for all you ambient guys that need the massive reverb. I think 
these reverbs are much higher quality than the reverb pedal that you're kind of stuck with in the post effects section. But have some fun experimenting with those. Just make sure that your uh, effects sends are enabled. The more you crank the send one and send two levels, the louder and also more effective the reverb gets. Really good ambient reverb. <laughs> scope to play with there just beyond the basic verbs. Remember that you can also mix in your reverb from the amplifier so if you click on the tape icon at the bottom right here it'll take you back to the amp. So we've got our Fender Twin reverb here, we'll add a bit of spring reverb from the amplifier and you'll hear that affected in the room. <laughs> So have some fun experimenting with that and enjoy some of these good quality reverbs which a lot of people don't actually know about when they use Amplitude. Thanks for listening. If you've got any tips, please share them in the comments section. Thank you so much.